This video provides an overview of how to install Virtualization Manager and how to set permissions. The Virtualization Manager download contains two sets of bits, the virtual appliance that can be imported into VMware vSphere or Microsoft Hyper-V, and the Orion platform bits. Start by importing the virtual appliance into your hypervisor of choice. In this example, we are importing it into VMware vSphere. When configuring the server, the best practice is to use DHCP to pull the initial IP address. Once configured, the IP address can be changed on the appliance itself via the hypervisor console or with the vman admin web console. Now let's log into the appliance. The wizard will start automatically on first login. Enter your registration email address. Enter credentials to your vCenters, ESX host, or Hyper-V hosts. Enter the IP address or address of your vCenters, ESX host, or Hyper-V host. A quick discovery will run when adding Hyper-V hosts. Next, enable the job schedules. A configuration poll will need to be run successfully prior to data showing up. Once complete, the configuration summary will give you a quick view of appliance performance and job collection status. For the next step, click Advanced Setup – Users. Create a new user ID and password that will be used for integration with the Orion platform. This ID and password must match an ID and password on your hypervisor with a correct permission level. Check the user admin guide to confirm minimum permission level. In this example, we gave the user admin access in vCenter. To install the Orion platform interface, you'll need to run the Orion platform exe file on a Windows server. If you need help with this step, please watch the Install Network Performance Monitor video. After you install the file, the integration wizard will start automatically. Since we're skipping this step, we will launch the integration wizard directly by navigating to Settings, All Settings, Virtualization Settings, Setup Virtualization Manager Integration. Input the IP address or name of the Virtualization Manager appliance. Input the username and password that was created on both the appliance and inside your hypervisor. Test the connection. If you have a connection error, you should be able to resolve the issue by entering the IP address of your Orion server. Select Integrate to complete the process. The sync wizard will start. Choose Recommended to import all nodes into the Orion platform. Click Finish to perform the selected tasks. The wizard will talk back to the virtual appliance to find an available host. Select Done to complete the process. Navigate to the Virtual Summary screen to confirm that it is updating with your virtual hosts and servers. For more information on Virtualization Manager or any of the other SolarWinds products, go to support.solarwinds.com.